Hey guys, it's me, Lemetria from Cutting Up Keto, where we slice and dice and serve up everything nice with no sugar and lots of spice. Now in this episode, I have for you guys a lovely breakfast I want to say not an entree, but a lovely breakfast food, or it can just be an anytime food that is gonna that you're gonna want to consume every at least a couple times a week, and that's gonna be my delicious cinnamon vanilla chia pudding. Now, chia seeds are something that I would recommend for anybody on keto to include in their diet because they are loaded in fiber and they are loaded in omega-3 fatty acids. I can't say enough about these marvelous foods. I'm gonna, or marvelous seeds. I'm gonna actually include in the description box a link to some literature about chia seeds if you've never had them. But they help get things moving along if you're having a little bit of trouble. You notice when you first start out keto, people can experience lots of different digestive changes in their body because your body is literally shifting gears from one source of fuel to another source of fuel. And that takes some time. And some people, it either stops them up or it has them going all the time. So, you know, in some people, it doesn't really affect them at all. But it's, like I said, it's something that's very important to have in your diet. It comes together really quickly. You make it, I like to make mine overnight and let it sit in the refrigerator and come back to it the next day. And it has that lovely puddingy texture. But in this one too, I'm gonna use coconut milk. Coconut milk is really high in fat. The really good kind of fat that you want on keto. And it tastes delicious to me. And it's gonna have some cinnamon in there, put a little bit of whipped cream on top and some fresh berries. So you guys are really gonna love this. It's a nice alternative to having bacon and eggs every day or you know, bacon and sausage or whatever you guys are used to having for a keto breakfast besides the Bulletproof coffee if you like that. So go, let's go ahead and get started whipping this up right now. Okay guys, so here are the ingredients that I need to make this delicious chia pudding that's flavored with cinnamon and vanilla. Right here I've just got some organic chia seeds. Obviously I've got the vanilla extract and I've got some cinnamon here and some confectioner swerve. Remember that when you're making a cold dish, use the confectioner's swerve. Do not use the granulated, it's not gonna dissolve and it will give it a very gritty texture. I actually made that mistake one time making this chia pudding and while it tasted good, the texture was totally off. And then here I have some coconut milk. Uh oh, drop that in there, but it's all right. Um, I had already used some of this, but I got some organic coconut milk here. Remember that when you're buying coconut milk, you wanna get the one that is full fat and the full fat brand typically has about 11 total grams of fat in it. And then you also need, oh wow, that really sucks. <laughs> it's all right, we'll get it out. Like I said, this is at home cooking. And then right here, I have some organic heavy whipping cream right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this right now after I dig that lid right out of there. All right guys, so let's see how quickly this cinnamon vanilla chia pudding recipe comes together. First, I'm gonna add one cup of the full fat coconut milk. And to that, I'm going to add a half cup of heavy whipping cream. And to that, I'm going to add, well, I probably should have had these in there. It really doesn't matter. But I've got to add one third cup, oh, one third cup of chia seeds. We're gonna give it a good stir, so that really matter. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. And now I'm gonna add five teaspoons of confectioner's swerve. You don't even have to let this sit in your refrigerator overnight. You can just let it stay for maybe like an hour or two and it'll, it'll still be good to go. You can still eat it. As long as it got that pudding, that puddingy texture, you are good to go. And last but not least, we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I'm just gonna whisk it all together and then put it in a refrigeratable little container with a lid on there 
I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of salt in there too. Not very much, but just a sprinkle. Enough to put in your eye, just a little bit. And that is it. Now I'm just gonna whisk it all together. These chia seeds are already starting to take shape and try to um, try to form a, um, a little ball here. But these things are very, very absorbent. They don't even have the same texture once all this liquid absorbs. It's pretty interesting if you've never had them before, but this is an amazing little breakfast. Like I said, I'm gonna uh, top it with some berries. You can chop it with chopped nuts. That's it. This is the consistency you want it to have. And it goes in the refrigerator for roughly about at least an hour or two. And then you come back to it and you're gonna have a nice solidified puddingy texture. So, we're going to come back in a, in a few minutes with the rest of the video. I'm going to show you how it looks when it's all done, and we're going to test it out to see how it tastes. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So it's set in the refrigerator for about three hours. And so here you can see the texture of this delicious chia pudding. Now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. You saw how it looked before I put it in there. You can see it's got that really pudding texture. I'm gonna top it with some whipped cream. That's what's on that spoon. You can see, look at that texture there. It's a really pudding texture. Do not let the color of it scare you. Try this out. You are going to love it, I promise you. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, homemade keto whipped cream. Again, I'm gonna post the link in the description box to the video that has that recipe. It's a nice little treat. Just a little bit, roughly about, this is about two tablespoons. Oh, maybe about a tablespoon and a half. I didn't measure it out, but that's a serving. And I'm gonna top it with a few fresh strawberries. This is so good. And then I'm gonna put a few little blueberries on there to keep it keto. There's about five or six blueberries. And that is it, guys. That is it. So let's give it a try and see how it tastes. This is gonna taste like a dessert too. You can have it for a dessert. Let's see. Mmm. That is good stuff. Really good stuff. I know I've said it before, but when you get to eat food like this, it's just incredible that you can eat food like this and lose weight. This is awesome. I mean, I'm like speeches. I'm just enjoying it. The cinnamon, the vanilla, it comes through so good. And these strawberries and blueberries just really in the whipped cream, it just sets it right off. Only thing I didn't put, which I should have, was a few diced walnuts or pecans on top. Excellent excellent choice for a breakfast to stay keto with a nice fatty breakfast it's gonna keep you full because it's loaded with fiber and also this is something that I say it's just a nice change every now and then from having just the regular eggs you know bacon or whatever the bulletproof coffee this is gonna do the job so on that note guys if you like what you saw in this video, as always, go on ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends if they are new to keto and they are curious about keto and wanna know, what can I eat? I'm gonna get tired of baking eggs every day. Have this, this is awesome. You can do, do so many different things with it. So guys, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this delicious, delicious cinnamon vanilla flavored keto chia pudding and i will see you guys in the next video bye